Hey, I'm Jeff for Traveler Guitar, and today we're going to unbox the Escape Concert. All right, so here's the Escape Concert. Depending on where you bought your guitar, you may never see this box. Oh, here it is. A fresh, brand new guitar out of the box. I get very excited when I see new guitars. Okay, here is the Escape Concert from Traveler Guitar inside its gig bag. And as you can see, you've got an embroidered Traveler Guitar logo there, and you've got two accessory pouches on this gig bag. Uh, let's open them up. So this accessory pouch is pretty, get, pretty big. It seems like you could fit a tuner metronome in there. This pouch has two zippers, and it's also a fairly big size. I brought my iPad along to show you that you could fit your iPad in that accessory pouch and carry that with you and still have room for other stuff, a notebook, some music. Uh, let's see what's in here. Okay, inside the pouch, I have a little goodie bag. Let's see what's in the goodie bag. All right, we have a little, like a user guide here with stringing and tuning instructions and uh, warranty information. Uh, and then also we have the actual warranty card, which you fill out, you put your serial number on it, put a stamp on it, uh, add your return address and send that off in the mail to uh, register your warranty. You can also register your warranty at travelerguitar.com. And over here we have some kind of a hex wrench which we'll explore in a moment. So I'm going to move this stuff aside, including Mr. Hex Wrench. Let's open this baby up. Okay. Oh, so the handles have a really nice padded neoprene Velcro handle wrap so you can carry it really nicely without getting those nylon burns on your hand. Um, and on the other side, you've got a shoulder strap, which is adjustable, so you can clip it over here if you're an over the left shoulder kind of a carrier, and you can clip it over here if you're an over the right shoulder kind of carrier, and it's got a nice shoulder pad here, and a toe handle on the back. Okay, let's open the bag. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll get to this in a minute. This is a beautiful gig bag with a nice soft velour interior and 10 millimeter foam padding. This will really protect your guitar when you're carrying it around through the airport, between gigs, wherever you're going. Um, and then right here, we've got this really nice leather piece that protects the gig bag from the bridge and the strings when you're carrying it around. Okay, now this. this I call this the space bag. This protects the guitar and insulates it during shipping. You do not have to keep this bag unless you want to. I'm gonna take it out of the space bag. All right. Oh, here it is. Very exciting. Put this gig bag down. All right, the Escape Concert. And this is just Oh, it's a beautiful guitar. Okay, the first thing I want to talk about before we get into the features uh, and the parts of the guitar is this little leather hanging strap right here, okay? This is a merchandising solution for us. We, we use these to hang them in the stores because there's no headstock to clip to a traditional yoke. So uh, you don't have to keep this on your guitar if you don't want it. It's affixed very simply with a little black zip tie. Uh, and if you get clippers, be really, really careful so you don't damage the neck of your guitar. Get clippers right under this uh, little gap here, snip them off, and you can throw the zip tie away and keep the leather strap. A lot of people make keychains out of it, which I think is really cool because it's got the Traveler Guitar website on it. Here is the Traveler Guitar Escape Concert, acoustic electric travel guitar. As you probably know from clicking around our website, this is a full-scale travel guitar, 25 and a half inches from nut to bridge, which means it's the same scale as your traditional acoustic, even though it's much, much smaller and more compact. We've got this beautiful spruce top underneath a nice glossy coat. You can also see that we've got a laser burned rosette, white, black, white, three-ply binding around the edges. The body is actually made of alder. So unlike traditional acoustics, this is a solid body guitar, almost like an electric guitar body. But we've got a glossy top over a spruce top on top of an alder body. Alder's a great tone wood. It's very lightweight and it sounds great. The neck is 100% American hard maple. So we use hard maple for the neck, alder for the body. 
The fretboard is ebonized rosewood. We love that ebonized look. It makes it nice and dark, um, but rosewood feels right under your fingers. And it's a really nice, easy playing neck, traditional acoustic strings on it. Um, we've got these really nice pearl tuners uh, and a traditional acoustic bridge. I'll talk a little bit about the in-body tuning system first. So the way we make the guitars shorter is by removing the headstock and removing all that extra stuff out here that would be on a normal size guitar, just wood. So instead of the strings attaching themselves to the bridge and then running up into a headstock, we flip it around and the tuners are in the body. So instead of the headstock being up here, it's kind of like three on the side, you picked it up and you put it right in the guitar. So the ball ends of the strings are actually right in there in that end cap. You can sort of see those multicolored strings right there and they run right down here over the bridge, over these rollers, through the body, and into very, very standard, traditional acoustic guitar tuning machines. Okay, so you tune the guitar here, E, A, D, G, B, E, just like a three on a side headstock, only instead of over there, it's over here. Now let's talk about the electronics. This is such a versatile acoustic electric guitar, and not just for playing by yourself in your room, but I have customers who gig with this, who play out with this, who do all sorts of cool stuff with this. And it's all centered around our proprietary electronics, which is made for us by Shadow. So if you look on here, you've got a built-in tuner. You've also got a phase switch for feedback reduction when you're in a live situation playing through an amplifier. You've got volume and tone controls. And then, here's the magic right here. You've got a headphone amplifier. So you can plug your headphones into this guitar, which is fairly quiet by itself. I mean, it's a very, very quiet guitar. It's not loud like an acoustic guitar. You can plug your headphones in, and it sounds like you're playing you know, in a concert hall. Um, and then you can also plug your iPhone or your MP3 player into that aux in, and you can play along with tracks. Now, the guitar does have a traditional quarter inch output, so you can plug into an amplifier, you can go direct into a board, and check this out. If you're playing a coffee house gig and you've got tracks that you're playing along to, you can put them on your phone, go into the aux in, go out of your guitar into your, into your uh, sound system, your PA, and you can run your whole gig right through this guitar. I love this guitar. Let's flip uh, on the back here. So uh, right here is a little electronics patch. Uh, the neck plate, this is the back side of the preamp. It's got a really nice Traveler guitar logo so that it's facing correctly when you're playing the guitar. And then this is the battery hatch right here. One last thing, coming back to this little Mr. Hex wrench over here. So this hex wrench is for adjusting the truss rod. Every Traveler guitar has a fully adjustable truss rod so that you can set the action and the string height and everything exactly where you want it. You can see the truss rod bolt is right there. You fit this little wrench right over that and you can adjust the truss rod just like you would on a normal acoustic guitar. Hey, I'm Jeff Garvin for Traveler Guitar. Thanks for watching.